Hello everyone, this is Sheila. It's 2010, but I'm just going back to 2006 and my visit to Cumberland, where I went to Carlisle and I visited the, the Carlisle itself and the castle and the museum. Uh, all to do with the Hassles really, the Hassles of Dalmain, uh, descendants of a common ancestor, John Hassel of Bottisham. Um, the Hassels were of great um, power and significance up in Cumbria, being sheriffs and MPs and justices of the peace and all sorts. And they, they sat in the citadel, which, which is a court, and probably condemn people to death at some point as well. We've got one called Black Cap, who um, wore his black cap when he was out hunting, but judges usually wear that when they're condemning people to death. And there's a picture of one of the hassles inside the citadel as well. Um, so there's a lot of history tied up with the castle, the citadel, and Carlisle itself with the hassle family. So here we go then, we're going back to 2006 with Sheila arriving in Carlisle very early in the morning in order to avoid traffic and find somewhere to park. Good morning, it's the 17th of May 2006, it's about 7 o'clock in the morning and I've just arrived in Carlisle. I decided to take an early start. Because I've never driven here before, I don't know what the traffic, it's already burning up the traffic, I thought I'd get to a car park. So I left um, Waterfoot near Poodley Bridge about 6 o'clock and decided to make my way up the M6 to Carlisle. I found myself a car park. You can stay in for 24 hours for £4.50. Um, I'm glad I got here now because traffic is building up. You've got to think of these things when you're new to a place and you don't know where to park with a van. Um, yeah, the gears are playing up a bit. I don't know, it might just be my driving, but I don't seem to be able to get in three first. I was going to drive around a bit more and perhaps look for a, a more... Um, friendly places just look a bit derelict but I'm st sure it'll start filling up it's all it is a proper car park it's near a main road I, I haven't got a clue where I am at the moment I know we, I went past the castle not long ago um, I'm just going to stay here for a bit until going on it's only 7 o'clock there'll be nothing open or anything yet I'm just going to stay here and have a refresher drink. Um, and then I'm going to start looking around Carlisle. I've got to find the sister. Um, I'm going to go and look in the castle. I think it's got a museum. Um, I'm not staying here all day. It's just that I've put £4.50 on just in case I don't know. Because I don't know if I've got to walk or anything. I hope my van will be safe because it's got all my stuff in it. Um, you know, you never know when you go to these sort of places what, what it's like. So, you know, I do hope it starts filling up the car park. I feel a bit better if there's other people start arriving. There's no one. I'm the only one in this car park at the moment. So, you know, it's a bit of a worry from that point of view, but that's the risk you take. Um, so, that's that. Um, so I might stay here for the morning once I've done what I've got to do, which is mainly find a sister. I want to go in the castle as well. I'll have a look around and see what there is. Maybe have something to eat lunchtime. And then perhaps this afternoon I might make my way to Bolton Castle if I can find it on the map somewhere. Um, that's about it really. I'm just going to have some breakfast in my van. And a cup of tea. I'll be reporting back later. It's a bit creepy in a way, because I'm kind of...
time I remonted this car again, and I'm sick with my curtains shut in my camper van for security reasons. Like, they don't know how many people are in here. So even if I go out, they don't know if somebody in here. And I'm just sat with the curtains shut. I have to use my food as well. I don't want to be wandering around Carlisle at 7 o'clock in the morning trying to find the toilet. So this is the basics of uh, camping in the van. I'm having my sausages. I had bacon and stuff yesterday, but I've got to use this milk up because the fridges won't be in operation while I'm parked up here. I have a bowl, big bowl of frosties, a nice cup of tea. Setting things. I probably won't wander off yet. See if it gets a little bit more like a time when places are open, if you know what I mean. No point wandering around at the moment. There's lots of traffic. I'll probably stop wandering around at the end. Quarter to eight now, so it's half eight I'm hoping other people are going to park in this derelict car park I'm in. Which is near a main road, and there's a bloke working in the garage behind me. Um, I'm just having the frosties. All on me, Todd. Um, I've left my bed down. I thought if I did get tired, I could just crash out. It's a complete contrast from what the camping site, which is near Oldswater, is wooded, quiet. It's in the middle of a city. The traffic building up. It doesn't bother me as long as my van's still here when I get back from me. So I've got all my tapes and all my, camp, my films I've taken. On the way past Delmoon I stopped and took some load of photographs from different angles of the house and the grounds this morning. I thought the more photos I get, the better. This is a pretty place. So the hassles do have trouble, or hazels, as you call them, in the 17th century. There's a bit in the booklet about it. When the Scotland invaded England, and what the households did, they just told the people that stayed at Dalmain to give them anything, so they gave them food, hay, and feed for their aunt, their horses. And the Scots did not plunder the house; they left it intact. Meanwhile, the Hazels had gone off to stay in York. They did have connections there, so I need to look up. Uh, and I think it was the Leightons that were there for several hundred years before the Sir Edward Hassel bought the place. Um, and they were staunch Roman Catholics. Like I said, they didn't find the, the priest hole till about a hundred odd years ago. It was that well concealed. But talking to one of the guys yesterday, it seems like he was saying is that, that the Leightons were staunch from Catholics as if the Hassels weren't. And some of the pictures, especially of the women, do look very puritanical. Uh, of course, I didn't know at that time that the Hassels from Bottisham and Bolsham were tied up with the family of love, which was a dissenters' movement. 
So they wouldn't have been Roman Catholics back in time, or they swapped over. Not only that, the name Hassel, Hessel, was probably European Brussels or somewhere like that, or Belgium, back in time, or German even. So I never knew um, about the family of love at this stage. Back to the cassette.
what I'm used to, so I probably cranked it a bit too much.
mind what I have to do and find my way back. I am in the centre of Carlisle. Go and find a, a map. I might have one actually, but I don't know where that is either. Um, so I can plot my route and I must remember a reference point for this car park because this is the city after all, it's got a cathedral and everything. So I do need to, I've decided to put my new uh, walking boots on as well, so I'm going to do a lot of walking. And, um,
castle. So I'm off to the castle now. Um, hopefully I'll be able to go down in, in the dungeons. There's the bell of the cathedral ringing. I haven't got a present, must be about 10 o'clock now. Walking on the outside of the cathedral now, it's very over grey now. There are, quite a, there are a few greys popping up here and there, but the grass is about three foot high at the moment. So I haven't got around to cutting it out, which is a surprise. Um, so I'm going to have a look at the uh, museum, I think. I'm actually coming to the Tully or Tully House Museum and Art Gallery. Um, just as well, have a look round here. I'm in the entrance hall, I'm just going to find the ladies. I'm going to Carlisle Museum en route to the castle, and I'm in the Reavers section at the moment. I'm waiting for it to go into the theatre where I'll get a, you know, um, like a documentary, a show. It starts in about five minutes. Uh, about the Reavers. Um, last about ten minutes, so I'll have my take on for that. Right, I'm in there in the dark, waiting for the show to begin. I'll meet you come on in a minute, I'll turn the tape back on when it starts. Of course, the Reavers were another name for raiders. These were a group of clansmen, borderers really, between Scotland and England that were had their own laws amongst themselves and were, would raid each other, you know, and terrorise people really. They were like big bullies and they have called the Reavers. I, I got a book on it. And certain families today, could, like the Grahams for example, um, and, and, and lots of uh, quite a few other names, uh, uh, a link back to these reavers. So when I went in the museum, there was this sort of demonstration, video and music, all about the reavers. But I don't know if it comes out on the tape. It's probably a bit muffled. Thank <laughs> you. 
memorial stone. They didn't bury people in towns outside. And there's uncovered a load of them up here in Carlisle. Gravestones of a woman in the sun and sculpture. Twenty will be hanged on 
Right, this is going to be in two parts, this part of my visit to Carlisle, because it's so long, and I did lots of audio tapes within the museum. So this was, this is the end of part one of Sheila's visit to Carlisle in 2006.